time lapse of the storm that rolled through the valley last Ooh. night. This was near Pecos and Kerry. Thanks to our viewer Daniel Wrangle for capturing this video. Here we are five and a half hours into Friday the 13th. Is this an <laughs> ominous sign that it's going to be a bad day, Kelsey? <laughs> Let's hope not, although my day wasn't off to a great start, right? I know. With the flat tire. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Only up from here, guys. Okay. Only up from here. I know that a lot of people kind of loving the action yesterday. The light show, the thunder. Yeah, the northeast and the southeast portions of town getting most of that action. Here's a look at what that storm track looked like yesterday towards those evening hours. You can see it brought with it plenty of lightning and some portions getting some moderate to heavy rainfall as well. Today we do have that potential of seeing storms just like that. Here's a look at that rainfall accumulation. Some spots seeing two tenths of an inch. Other spots, those higher elevations seeing just over an inch of rainfall. No official rainfall near McCarran, so it doesn't count to our monthly total. Here is a live look outside. We're starting out pretty quiet, but we do have that moisture surging through. So some sprinkles, it looks like pushing through the west side of town. Our dew points now in the 60s, so we are feeling moist out there as well. We're going to see those temperatures in the mid 80s this morning. So if you're headed out the door, be aware it is going to be mild and muggy. Later on today, expecting to see that 104 number with partly cloudy skies and those wind speeds staying less than 10 miles per hour. All right, taking a look at your traffic 